Hello and welcome back to our channel. This video is a tutorial on Expensify. In this video, we will talk about Expensify, its features, the platform, and how to add your expenses to Expensify. So watch this video till the end to better understand the platform. Expensify is a financial services company that provides an online expense management service for personal and business purposes. You can use Expensify to scan receipts, track your expenses and do much more. Expensify also offers a business credit card called the Expensify card. You just need to swipe your Expensify business card and your expenses are done. It's just that simple. There are exclusive perks for card holders like you can save over $75,000 on average in real discounts with exclusive perks and discounts from Expensify's industry-leading partners like Amazon AWS, hi Five, Zendesk and others. To use Expensify to track your expenses or to get a credit card, you first need an account on it. To get started with Expensify, you can use your email or phone number or Google or Apple ID. We are continuing with email. Click on it here. Then you need to enter your email ID and then click on the next button and then click on the join button. Now you need to check your email for verification and after clicking on the verification link, you will be taken to Expensify where you need to set up your password. Enter your password here and confirm it here and then finally click on the set password button and you will be then taken to your dashboard. Here on the dashboard on the top of the left side bar, you will see your profile icon and your email ID. Click on it and here you will again see your registered email ID and the sign out button. You can also visit the product changes and the help and feedback pages. And from here you can also change your profile picture. Here in the left side bar, you will see four different tabs which are Inbox, Expenses, Reports and Settings. In the bottom of the left side bar, you will see the Expensify logo. You can use it to come back to the dashboard at any time. In the bottom of the right side, you will see the message icon. You can use it to chat with customer support or you can also raise a ticket for any issues. This is your Inbox. Here you will see the concierge message where you will be asked to set up your Expensify account. You have two options here to choose from which are business and personal. In the business account, you can send invoices, pay bills, book travel and manage employee expenses. You can also get an Expensify card and say goodbye to receipts. In the individual account, you can track receipts for taxes, send invoices and submit expenses to your accountant or employer. If you want to know more about these account types, you can watch a demo here or you can also make a call to the customer support team. Next, let's come to the expenses tab. On this page, you will see all your expenses and receipts. You can drag a receipt onto this page or create a new expense using the new expense button on the top right corner. Let's go ahead and click on it. Here you will see there are four options to create your expense which are manually create, scan receipt, create multiple and time. If you want to add your travel expenses, you can use the manually create and create from map options. We're going to demonstrate to you all the ways in which you can record your expenses. First, let's go ahead and click on manually create. A pop-up window will open like this. On this page, you have to manually fill in all the required fields here. First, enter the name of the merchant here, whether it is a store's name or a person. From here, select the date from the calendar. Now enter the amount here and from here you can select your currency. If your expense is reimbursable, tick this box. Now select the category. You can select from the list or you can start typing to search for it. Here enter the attendee's name. If you are the attendee, select your name or select from your contacts. Now here enter the description for this expense. You can use it as a note which will help you to recognize this expense in the future. 
Now select the type of the report that you want about this expense. From here, you can upload any receipt or bill for this expense. And when you're done with everything, click on the save button. Your expense will be saved and you will see it here. Now let's move to another way of adding expenses. You can use this scan receipt option to upload and scan the bill for your expense. Click on it and select the file from the browser and it will be added to your expense list. The third way is the create multiple option. Click on it and a pop-up window will open. Here you will see five different columns which are date, merchant, total, category, and description. From here, select the date from the calendar. Enter the merchant's name here. Enter the total expense here. From here, select your currency. And from here, you can upload the receipts or invoice of this expense. Then select the category from this drop down menu. And lastly, enter a description for this expense. Repeat the same steps for adding more expenses. If you have done any mistakes, click on this reset button and all the data will be erased and you can start from scratch again. And once you are done with all the expenses, click on the save button at the bottom right of the page. Now your expense will get saved and you can see it here. If you have a bunch of expenses, use this filter button and you can use these options to filter the results. From here, you can change the view and from here, you can see the pie chart of your expenses. By selecting any of the expenses here on the top right side, you will see options like duplicate, split, export to, add to report and delete. Next is the reports tab. Here you will see the reports name and the generation time. Here you will see the status and the total expense. This is the name of the workspace from which the expense has been added and this is the email ID of the workspace owner. Click on the report and you will see the complete details of all the expenses. Expensify has a feature in which all the generated reports will automatically be submitted on Sunday every week. But if you want to submit it manually, you can use the submit and close button here. And last is the settings tab. Here you will see five different tabs which are account details. From here you can view and change your account details like your name, profile photo, email ID and password. Then comes edit preferences. Use this tab to change preferences like currency, time zone, email notifications and more. Next is Expense Rules. Use this tab to create your own expense rules, tags, merchant specific rules, etc. Then comes the Credit Card Import. Use this tab to import credit card details. And from here, you can also apply for the Expensify card. Then comes Payments. Use this tab to add payment methods, bank account, and you will also see the billing history here. So this is the complete walkthrough about Expensify's platform and how to use it to add your expenses. With this, we have completed our tutorial on Expensify. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next one. And for more such videos, make sure to stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.